Hello everybody, this is going to be a tutorial on how to whitelist an IP address in Office 365 using the Microsoft 365 Defender. We have this documentation available on our documentation page, but with the help of the documentation page and this video, you'll be able to whitelist by IP address in the 365 workspace seamlessly. Let's begin. The first thing that we're going to do before we even open up Microsoft 365 Defender is we're going to go into the documentation page for the platform. Our first step here has IP addresses to be allowed. We're going to click on that and we're going to copy this. And we're just going to put it into a notepad for right now. Perfect. Just save that for later. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to log into that Microsoft Defender page. Perfect. Once we're in the Microsoft 365 Defender, we're going to scroll down and we're gonna click Policies and Rules. And from there, we're gonna to go to Threat Policies. And we're gonna scroll down till we see Advanced Delivery. Now that we're in the Advanced Delivery screen, we're gonna click Phishing Simulation. And then we're going to click edit under edit third party phishing simulations. We're going to enter in those IP addresses that we copied earlier from the documentation page. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take those domains that were on our notepad. Once we've added those sending IPs, we're also going to add in simulation URLs to allow. And similar to before, we're going to go on the documentation page and we're going to pull a list of domains to allow. Now, unfortunately, we cannot just copy and paste the entire list in. So we have to add these in one at a time. Please don't worry about adding every single one of these domains into the platform. You do have the option to modify your phishing simulation templates to use um, different domains that we have available. So if you only whitelist, uh, let's say these ten, first 10 IP addresses, but one of your phishing simulation emails uses one of these domains over here, you can simply switch the domain to one of the ones that you whitelisted. Once you've added all the URLs from the documentation page into the simulation URLs to allow, hit save. Now you'll be able to see under the phishing simulation tab, we have these three IP addresses that we're whitelisting. Now that you've added in the IP addresses to whitelist for the platform, as well as the URLs to allow, you should be able to receive any notifications, training links, any phishing simulation emails that were sent from the platform using the whitelisted IPs. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial.